Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, in, in today's video, we will discuss how to display the top 3 students based on the scores in PySpark. So this is the requirement. I have given sample of two records but it has more data in that table. So the question is write a query to display names and scores of the top three students who has age greater than 20 in descending order of these scores. So today let's solve this. So this is the data frame I have created for that friends if you see here. So this has five records and some data births and their scores are available. So this is in the format CSV like this is the file friends I have created student name data birth and score ok. So this file I have read in the PySpark using the read uh, API data frame read API and this is the data frame that we have right now. So here if you see we have to get the age factor correct we have to get there is a condition saying that age is greater than 20 so here we have the date of birth so first step is to get the age of that correct like the calculating the correct age of that so let's try that now so for that i am just creating some hdf i let me rerun this okay just to make sure it's still active yes okay so now I am creating one HDF which will calculate the age by uh, deducting the this date I mean uh, by subtracting this date from the current date ok. So for that this is the DF1 means this is the data frame where we have the original data. So DF1 dot with column because we have to create a column called a new column called age right. So I am using the with column transformation here. And now we have so first we as we need to use some functions let me import this library okay now f dot there is a date diff function which will give you which will uh, subtract the dates two given dates and give you the count in the days okay so now f dot date difference date diff is the function name for this for which dates you wanted to get the difference from the current date if you subtract the date of birth then you will get the age of that person correct. So for that what we can do is there is a function called current date in PySpark to give you the to get the current date. There is a current timestamp function as well if you wanted to consider the timestamp as well. Here we have only the date I am taking the current date instead of the timestamp ok and comma ok this is like this date difference function takes two parameters what is the from date and what is the to date you wanted to subtract. So from the current date we wanted to uh, subtract this DOB right so I am saying f dot call of date of birth ok so which means that from this date this date will be subtracted and this uh, will return the days so we will see what is the uh, HDF right what is the result. Now, so if you can see here, it is giving the age in days, so which is not in proper human readable format, right? So what we have to do, we have to divide it by that with number of days in an year, which is 365. Now again, let me run this and now you can see age is correctly calculated. But if someone asks you the age, we will say 25, 26, but we will never say 25.37. 3972 something like that right so let's do the round here so from the f uh, like functions pi spark sql functions there is a function called round okay standard function so do the round of that i hope i have closed yes i have closed all the braces properly so now let's do the round of it and you will get the proper age like this okay next what next we have to do we have the age now now let's do what is the uh, this one like we have to display the 
top three person names along with the uh, highest scores like based on the scores we have to order by the scores in descending order and we have to display the top three students okay so for that what we can do is let's create another cell below okay now we have this resultant data in hdf okay now let's take this hdf and then first filter out the columns for the h okay because we don't need the other ones so filter f dot call of h because here already in the hdf we have this h so h greater than 20 okay this is the filter condition we have to do here instead of giving this 20 like this the best uh, practice always to do is to use the f dot lit literal value of 20 okay this is the best practice then we have to what we have to do is order by and they specifically mentioned this as we have to order by descending order so we have to use the order by on which column we have to do the descending order on uh, this one what is that score correct so we have to put that score and then do the show okay because we have to use function f dot dsc iterative okay so now you can see um, like here we have only three records who is greater than 20 okay so now that's why it has given three and you can see based on the scores it is descending order has been happened and their ages are greater than zero for example if you have some 10 records or maybe if you put 15 here right if you change that maybe let's say they want uh, the students who is greater than 15 now you can see the 15 uh, when five people but you want only three means in the show you just give three or you can put limit to three okay but again in case if you wanted to get the first uh, like in the in in the order the first three or first five or something then you can use this kind of order by okay in case if you got a query where you have to pick up one particular uh, record like the second highest or third highest second largest so that kind of records then you need to use the window functions for this kind of get the top three such kind of things right May, most of the cases we can clear it by, by just using very simple functions instead of windows okay hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.